So this is an old tractor on my dad's farm. And uh, what year would you say it is, Carlos? This is a 1949 Ford 8N tractor. Okay. Uh, so it's pretty old. Okay. Um, so we're doing a, a conversion from six volt to 12 volt. Okay. So we've removed the alternate, uh, the generator. Okay, hold on a minute. All right, so down here is the generator, which was removed from the tractor. And instead we're replacing it with an alternator. This here is the alternator. Mm -hmm. And what's the reason for doing that? Uh, so it's converting it from a six volt uh, system to a 12 volt. And what would be the purpose of that? Well, you would get um, better cranking and uh, hopefully better spark. Mm -hmm. And uh, um, the generators can be a little fickle. It generates DC, mm -hmm. where the alternator normally generates AC and converts it to DC. So it's a more modern uh, system mm -hmm. and maintained. So we got a new belt. Where's the new belt? It's right here. Oh, okay. okay we'll put a new here. belt. Uh -huh. um, okay. okay. Put new radiator hoses okay. on at the top and the bottom, radiator hoses, uh -huh. and a new thermostat. Oh. which the thermostat goes in line with the hose. Okay. Um, and it turns out the uh, the old hose didn't have one, so they must have removed it mm -hmm. over the years. Mm -hmm. The uh, radiator is still in pretty good shape, so we're just going to keep even, that. Even though it's really rusted, it's still okay. Yeah. Uh, we, There's yeah. no holes. <laughs> yeah. It's not okay. leaking. Okay. Not leaking. And then uh, also, the 6-volt system is a positive ground, mm -hmm. where the 12-volt system is a negative ground. And what does that mean? So, in a negative ground, in a positive ground system, the positive terminal of the battery is connected to the frame. Okay. Where on a on a positive a negative ground system, um, which is how all cars are today, mm -hmm. the negative terminal of the battery is connected to the frame. I see. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then we're also replacing um, resistor, which is uh, is normally in line um, from the battery. Uh, to the coil, and so this is the old resistor. Okay. And we're gonna replace it with a brand new one. Okay. So we make sure that everything is good. And where are you getting all these parts? From, uh, I forget the name of the place. We can add it in later. Oh, okay. They also have very good videos. Okay. On that. Also gonna replace the ammeter, mm -hmm. uh, which measures the current, so you can tell whether the alternator is charging or or discharging with a new ammeter. Okay. And actually, it turns out the, the old one wasn't actually connected. Oh. <laughs> so, and the way the, they had put the, uh, the bracket, it was actually shorting everything out. So it, it wouldn't have worked anyway. Yeah. Okay. And then we're also going to replace the ignition switch because a lot of times those can get bad over time. Mm -hmm. And also the starter switch, which is down here. Okay, hold on. Sorry. So the other thing we're going to replace is this uh, starter switch because mm -hmm. uh, Don was saying that uh, this was kind of uh, intermittent, so you'd have to fool around with it to get it to work. So, okay. so we ordered a new one that should come tomorrow, mm -hmm. so we'll install that. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, we have to take this whole plate off mm. uh, to uh, to do that, but that's it's not a big deal. All right. So mm -hmm. these are the new battery cables. The uh, the old ones were. They're pretty old, so this is a nice heavy uh, strap, so we can tell that's negative, and then brand new hmm. positive. Oh, okay. So red is positive, red and is what positive. color is negative? Black? Black, or in this case, just braided, oh, so we can braided. tell that it's ground. So it's, okay. And okay, so pretty much you're replacing all the electrical, all the wiring. <laughs> yeah. All right. And uh, so hopefully it will run better than before. Okay, and we're hoping it'll run before we leave for Florida, huh? Yeah, <laughs> that's the plan. Okay. Hopefully by tomorrow evening, if okay. all goes well. Okay. Okay, so tomorrow we'll get the switch we're and we're replacing this, this the foot switch. We're right. getting a, we're going to replace a solenoid. Okay. That starts, that uh, triggers the starter. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, and the key switch, new key switch is coming because uh, one of the folks around town here said the key switch tends to fail oh, okay. as well so okay. hopefully this will electrical part will uh, last a long time mm -hmm. and um, 
So that's pretty much it. And this thing could use a good cleaning, but that'll be for uh, another another year. <laughs> and oh. also the, the front wheel bearings may need to be looked at. Because mm -hmm. Don says when you try to drive it on the street, it, the front wheels really wobble mm -hmm. wildly, so you really okay. can't take it on the street. Okay. Well, the paint paint on the on the fenders look pretty good. Uh, yeah, he had that done several years ago. Took okay. the, the, that and the the front or the hood is this. We're gonna try uh, starting the tractor. Um, again, I uh, I tried it this morning, and uh, it uh, it wouldn't uh, it would crank, but it, it wouldn't start. And uh, so I did some troubleshooting with the uh, tester light with uh, the uh, see if there was spark to the spark plugs and uh, and there wasn't. Mm -hmm. And also on the coil, I put a test light and it wasn't making contact the ground. So, OK, so I kind of uh, determined it was something with the distributor. So I went and uh, removed the distributor, which is kind of a hassle because it's front mounted. It's very it's kind of hard to get to. Um, in the later models, they move the distributor to the side so you can get at it more easily. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, a lot of the online videos about doing this conversion, they they said uh, you know try it with the hood off. So okay, so why why would you take the hood off to the to well you need the hood off to be able to to do this conversion. Why? Because you can't get at everything with the hood on. Okay, because uh, the gas tank is attached to the hood, correct? Right, right. So right now we have a funnel system that is going where? Well, uh, this is a fuel line to the carburetor. So okay. I just hooked a little um, funnel here, poured uh, gasoline in there enough to get this line kind of filled up and into the carburetor. Okay, so there's only a set amount of gas. And when we turn this on, it's only going to... Uh, work for a short period of time because it's going to run out of gas quickly right and also okay and also we haven't uh put any water in the radiator yet mm -hmm. um again um because in case if we had to uh undo something we don't we wouldn't have to drain the okay the, so we can run the engine for short periods of time okay um without the coolant okay the, very good so let's now, so turn the key on pull the choke Pull the choke. Very good. Congratulations, All Carlos. Right. Success. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what's left to do? So what we're going to have to do is now um, I can uh, put the, the battery hold down bracket okay. um, on there so the battery is secure. And the battery is right where your hand is? Right here, yep. Okay. 12 volt battery. Okay. And then I just need to uh, make sh route some of these wires, make sure that they stay away from uh, the uh, manifold, any hot components. Oh, okay. And then put fluid in the radiator. Okay. And then Cindy will help me put the hood back on. Ooh, you think so, huh? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, Carlos, this is a test ride now. Every, the hood's on and... Uh, we're ready to push the starter and back it out of the garage and see what happens. Carlos.